Welcome to The Switch, podcasts that are wired to online and offline marketing. Alrighty, welcome back to The Switch. Uh, this is the podcast that keeps you wired to online and offline marketing. I'm your host, Stephen Wigley from Burning Fruit. And as usual, we have co-hosts here, Wayne Curtis from Notion Design. Thanks, Steve. Good to be here once again. And we have a very, very, very special guest here today. We've got Bev from Travel, Travel and, Cruise. and Cruise Fundamentals. Arguably one of the most exciting industries to have been in over the past couple of decades. There have been so many advancements in travel and it's been, it must be such a, uh, a term, term more, a Tumultuous. Tumultuous, yes. I can't even get my words out. A tumultuous uh, couple of years for you and we can't wait to hear about it. But one question to start off with. Oh. You must have received some really cool freebies. <laughs> <laughs> over the years and uh you know pe- uh, people like us you know we're, we're just you know, branding right. web developers we don't know, get we freebies don't, we don't get <laughs> no I, I, got, I got one freebie oh. we don't get freebies so um in the travel industry surely could you name one freebie that we could be really jealous about well i don't know that they're necessarily freebies but they're certainly um only a small uh, donation, shall we say, to <laughs> the cost. Um, probably one of my best ones is a, a trip around Southern Africa. Uh, and we stayed at the palace at uh, Sun City. And that's pretty specky. Wow. That that's is, pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That would have been nice. Yeah. We're not Anything gonna, like that for we're, you? We're not going to get that. I don't <laughs> think we're going to get that. No. So um, since last time, I mean, one of the main topics that we talked about in the past few week, uh, yeah. past few episodes, has been the metaverse. So yep. we're going to steer clear of the Thank metaverse you. because it's sort of it is uh, making its way around the world at the moment, yeah. uh, along with crypto. Lots of uh, lots of rumors of cyber attacks with the recent war between uh, the two Russian Ukraine and Russia. Yep. Um, so that cyber war is looking pending but we're not going to touch that because nope. it's a uh, quite it's quite a polarizing topic um so we're going to delve into something a lot more um innovative yes i feel yeah absolutely the startup scene yeah the startup scene in wa is alive and well yeah there's a lot of cool startups uh, that are happening all around wa and the world some of these uh, political uh, goings on don't actually affect the startups uh, Quite so much. They just right. carry on doing what they're doing. They carry on innovating. Yeah, uh, you could argue that politics stands in the way of innovation. Absolutely. So um, it, it's good to really have a look at these startups, really boost them, keep people keep people aware that these startups yeah. are still going on and they're here to help. Yeah, there's a lot happening in in, in that space. Um, everyday people innovating and literally taking that step off the proverbial cliff and just going for it. That's, that, that's the exciting part. That's right. I mean, we've all, we've all started our own businesses at one stage or another. We know what that's like mm. to make that commitment to, to do it. And um, some of us, I dare say, have been better prepared than others. I definitely wasn't very prepared when I started my business. <laughs> Likewise. Um, um, Bev, I know you're a total professional, so I'm pretty sure you uh, you did it. Uh, a lot more effectively than probably we did, um, Not but that's that space. But oh, I did have a lot okay. of help. Well, we'll get into that a little later because we've got some interesting questions to ask. Oh, you. very, yes. very interesting. <laughs> 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 be afraid. Uh, be very, very afraid. <laughs> no, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. <laughs> <laughs> it's all fun. So the first startup we're going to look at is Go Passport. Go Passport. Go Passport. And this is obviously uh, within the realms of your business and operating area, Bev, in, in travel. Um, this is an interesting concept and and uh, and a very interesting site. So uh, here is a website: uh, Knowledge Builds Trust, providing an end-to-end risk management platform for across international border travel. 
Have you heard of this, Bev? I have. I'm not really currently relevant to Australians, but it's a pretty um, amazing product. Uh, I think it's got a lot of scope, um, and yeah, it'll be interesting to see where it goes. Have you got a? Uh, have you got? Do you know a little bit more about it? Um, have you tried it? Have you? No, I did go and I did have a look at it, um, mainly to see if it was something, for example, that I would be able to use uh, for my clients. But as I say, it ca- doesn't currently cover Australians. Um, so, if, you know, that may change. Is it predominantly um, American then? Uh, I have to be honest and say I can't remember what That's nationality okay. it is. It it featured, but um, you know, if it works for any other nationality, I can't see why it can't work for us in Australia. Absolutely, especially when the borders officially open up and we get out and about again. So um, I know you're looking forward to that. <laughs> so, from branding perspective, um, Wayne, any comments so far on the uh, the branding side of things? Um, I'm I'm digging the colour scheme. Um, okay. it's fresh and feels lively. Um, I'm. Uh, I'm looking at, at the brand identity and I'm, I'm in two minds about that. But I love the name. Um, it's simple. It's memorable. And um, as part of any naming exercise, it has to be appropriate. So Nice tagline. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Nice tagline. Knowledge builds trust. So yeah, immediately, absolutely. you know, obviously it's got passport in the brand name. Yep. Knowledge builds trust. So obviously it's just some sort of information uh, disbursement or information collection that yep. is going to help you travel. And that's probably going to be the main concern with someone landing here and looking into it is is obviously security, information transfer and all that sort of stuff. So here we go. I mean, um, Bev brought up a really, really good point, the fact that she didn't know immediately that it wasn't for Australia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she could have been, I suppose, wasting her time, you know, surfing the site to try and figure out whether it's for Australia or not. Absolutely. Um, so from a website perspective, from a user experience perspective, it would be helpful to uh, prospective people in the industry to actually know immediately, or identify with their situation immediately and Absolutely. know that whether this is right for them right now or whether it's something that's yeah. going to happen in the yeah. future. Absolutely. I think from memory it was for people actually coming into Australia uh, now that I think about it. Um, so... It's certainly an application that can be applied to any other country, but I think the um, this was all about people coming to Australia and what they need to do and how they get that information, right. um, and of co- and uh, that it is updated on a regular basis. Cool, cool. Um, restarting international travel safely and uh, future proofing visitor economies, which is really cool. So it's, it's for individuals um, as well as government. Um, I think it's something that. Uh, tra- uh, Independent travellers would use, or possibly companies who okay. are sending uh, travellers to Australia. Okay, um, interesting. That's and it, it's pitched. It's remember. pitched well because we're talking about restarting international travel. It's sitting in the market where it stands now. That everyone is now finally getting out and about, and so its positioning and and the timing of its positioning mm. works really well. Yeah. So obviously, I mean, this could be something the that someone was... beautiful. Mm. This could have been being sat on for years um, and just waiting for that right moment. So, you know, the way it's positioned from a brand perspective and how that's communicating is really essential, and I'm doing a good job of that. Exactly. Um, so far, I don't actually know whether it is for me no, as a traveller yep. or not. So that, that's probably a little bit of an issue because I've got we've gone two panels yeah. down. Yep. Um, and you're still not sure is this actually, am me? I relating to this? Is this for me personally? Or is, or this is that business or yeah. a government? Yep. Um, I'm still guessing. Soon to be um, available on the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Featured on a current affair. So if it was featured on a current affair in 2020, you would have thought they'd make a bit more of a deal of it, which mm. is a shame because that is a really big uh, hit of credibility right yeah, there. Yeah, it is. And they have not exploited it. What is Go Passport? So you have to actually go to a demo, <laughs> yeah, to figure out what Go Passport is. We've scrolled, a f- we've scrolled a decent down the page um, to to get that to that information. Yeah, and you still haven't got it yet. No. So the Go Passport platform consists of Go, pa- go Passport app, Go Passport portals, risk intelligence. The portals was interesting, actually. So, basically, what the portal does, it actually tracks 
if you've got the app, it will track you where you are in the world. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can see the problem with that, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. But th- there's a whole heap of product, satellite tracking product that uh, that is a combination of fitness tracking and and tracking. And there's even mobile devices that are that are made purely for. If you get into trouble, I'm going to be out in the middle of nowhere. And if yeah. I get into trouble, someone can find me, to, you know. And I, I suppose because it's a passport scenario and people are traveling internationally and sometimes people get into trouble yep. um, and don't know what they're doing or where they're going <laughs> or say the wrong thing at the wrong time and can find themselves in trouble. So something like this, I, I see that there's a, a benefit there. Yep. Um, but oh, like your you glass say, is half full, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but then, but I'm, but I'm also looking at. You know, I'm about security. Yeah, don't you? I know you're about you security know where I'm going. and privacy. <laughs> yeah, and, absolutely. Oh my, yeah, you know, there's pros and cons. <laughs> pros and cons. So, I mean, when you have an app on your phone, you don't know whether it's actually turned off or not. No, I mean, everyone. Most, most it's it's a it's a law now. It's part of law. So that most apps that you download and open for the first time, it will give you that option do you want to be tracked 24 hours 24 <laughs> 7 or do you only want to be tracked <laughs> when the app is being check my used apps then, yeah, I well, seen that. everything everything i click is only when the app is being used i understand that oh, because really? you're making that satellite connection and yeah. if it's a map or if it's a this or that then that makes perfect sense and in order for it to operate properly then you need to enable that but i definitely don't allow always tracking how many, any of mine. how many naive users oh, don't don't know about heaps. that feature? Yeah, absolutely. So I've been tracked all the time. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is, I mean, there's a lot of skeptical people out there regarding even the, the COVID app, you know, the, yeah. when you check in. Yeah. Yeah. People are, aren't checking in purely because they don't want to be tracked, but they're on Facebook. I mean, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. The? But, but like you said, that, that puts up a, that puts up a negative for a lot of people. They're going to go, well, hang on a minute. I'm being tracked. Oh, I, yeah. Open, they're so. openly saying it. Yeah. So they're doing the right thing. Yep. But it is um, leaving them open for criticism as well. Unfortunately, they're do, they are doing the right thing. So in theory, I mean, it's not available yet. It's not even okay. in the, on the app store yet. Um, in theory, it's a, it's a nice, nice idea. Yeah. And it will hopefully... It's exciting. It's got scope. It's got scope. And um, hopefully it's going to kickstart the travel in- industry um, going into 2022, 2023, which will be really, really exciting. Very for exciting. So good luck to these guys. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's a lot on this website, but targeting is not one of them. No. So if they can really hone in on the targeting side of things of this website and the credibility side of things, if they can really make a, make a deal to build that trust yeah. with their audience, that would really, really help. I think, I think it, it, it looks the part. It feels good. The brand is, uh, seems honest, legitimate um, and transparent. But the customer journey, uh, Steve, is yeah. where it's being let down. So That's as right. you enter and land... What are you looking for? What do I need to see in order for myself to feel comfortable enough to pursue this story further? That's right. And that's where it's being let down. That's right. Yeah. Okay. But the best of luck. Yes, absolutely. Go for it. Go passport. Go for it. Go Go for it. Go passport. Okay. Our second startup, YouPay. This is really cool. I love this concept. Yeah? Yeah, I just... It's just fresh and uh, it's, I mean, when I first started looking at it and reading through it, I'm going, hang on a minute, how, how is this? How is this all work? working? Yeah. What am I just <laughs> buying something? I'm buying something and just giving it giving to my the parents. Bill to you. Yeah. Hey, mum, dad, I just bought something. Can you just pay this? Yeah. <laughs> I've nominated you as the yeah. payee. <laughs> Come on, hurry up, hurry up. I want my T-shirt. <laughs> Make friends and influence oh, people. I know. <laughs> So when I'm going to nominate you yeah, for some of my you, products. Yeah. yeah, good on you. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Bev, the concept of this obviously is um, it's a multi multi payer platform. So if you want to purchase something for let's say two hundred bucks, and no one knows what you want for your birthday or for Christmas, uh, they just want the yeah. bill, and yeah. they can contribute to something that you actually really want. Yeah, yeah. So you spread the the payments out between three or four people. They pay the two hundred bucks. You get the goods, and uh, yeah. everyone's happy. Yeah, it's a good concept, I think. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. When you look it's at very it, very different. Yeah, when you look at it a little bit more deeply, it actually is really transparent. 
It's very legitimate. And it's, it's what they've done is very clever from a brand perspective mm. is they've recognised a need. Um, they've recognised a space or a gap in the market. Yeah. And because we've all experienced this, whether it's someone, you're buying something for someone for a wedding. Wedding, yeah. Uh, for a birthday. And how many times have been asked, oh, um, you know, what does such and such want for their birthday? What yeah. do they drink or what do they wear? And I'm going, well. And let's know. face it, when you get to our age, no one really knows what you want. Do they really care? Do they really care? (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. I I don't even know when the birthday is. If I was buying something for Bev, I would care. Absolutely care, Bev. Thanks, Wayne. (laughs) And if I could jump on something like this and you've already nominated that you want this, that or the other, then I'd be happy to contribute. I think that's an it makes life easier, actually. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. It's a cool concept. It's an online version of the old wedding registry at the store. You know, you choose and somebody else pays. That's right. Yep. That's right. That's, sort of that's, that's yeah. pretty much what it is. Absolutely. Sim- simple concept, implemented. Um, the color scheme. The color scheme is we're talking about color again today um, at a later stage. But the color scheme, um, blue and the dark blue is um, very heavy, um, and that's that's again to build trust, um, and it represents honesty and trust um, and yep. knowledge and establishment. So you already work walking into a platform that it's building its credibility even from a visual perspective. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think um, I really love I love the identity and how that works. I, I find it fresh. Yeah, um, straight off the bat. You got, yeah. this, uh, you got this video playing. Yeah, it's very approachable. It's great. Very approachable. Um, now live on Shopify. So is this the Shopify site? Could this be... The one Shopify site that I actually like. I don't Ooh. know. Let's see. <laughs> Have, and, and look, the truth is, you know, um, Shopify has grown and changed and morphed into a totally different uh, beast than it was, say, let's mm. 10, 15 years ago. Mm. Um, you know, they're coming along in leaps and bounds. Um, but yet, yeah, is it a Shopify? Well, it says now live on Shopify, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that means. So that's a bit of a user experience. Do I want to click on it? Not really. Uh, maybe they're, I mean, without knowing, maybe they're partnering with a whole heap of... Um, oh, Shopify stores. That's probably it. Okay. So, so by the way, uh, I'm wanting this from this store. You enter through that. You pick where you're buying or where they've, or they're mm. accessing that. So maybe there's a, you know, there's a merging of... of um, other vendors. Yeah. So that's a cool idea too. That is a cool itself. idea. Yeah, because really you're going cool. to the top of the ladder really yes. and you're just uh, disseminating your technology smart. in amongst the uh, Very smart. Merchants. Very smart. Yeah. Very well done, you pay so far. <laughs> but you pay? That sounds a bit odd. Should it? Sh- I mean, if they called it multi-pay, would that be more accurate? But it's yeah, not, I mean, not like, so catchy, is it? Yeah. It should probably be you don't pay. Ah, oh, new donor. There you go. Okay. Do you want a job in Brandon? Yeah, I know. Uh, we're currently <laughs> yeah. hiring. Well, when we, we, did, <laughs> we, we did say that when we opened up on this. And the first thing you see is you pay. And I'm yeah, going, okay, uh, what am I paying for? I don't for? really what want am to I pay. Paying for? Exactly right. <laughs> you shop, they pay. Nice. Yeah. That's, uh, Clarification straight away. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. M- music to your ears. We've talked about, you know, the right slogans and the mottos. And if a brand name doesn't, you know, appropriately uh, communicate what the business is in that very first step. Yeah. Because quite often the slogan or the tagline yeah. has to hit it on the head. And that's I think, right. I think that does that. So Yeah, no, they've got, got a bit of subtext. Welcome to yeah. multiplayer multiplayer shopping. Uh, it's interesting they called it multiplayer and not multiplayer. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Um, they've got some brands here, so they're popular sh- stores. If you click on this, see what happens. Nothing. Oh. <laughs> Hang on. So, th- so we've got a clickable box that doesn't click and go ah, anywhere. But if you click in this box, it shows. Oh. Yeah. So the visual is this arrow here because everyone's used to going to a quarter action. And this is pretty much the quarter action. You click yep. on the arrow, nothing happens. Yeah. Simple mistake. You'd think, uh, yeah, they would have spotted that. They would probably then do what you did and, oh, the arrow's not working. I'll move over here, click here. and then Maybe. There it goes. Yeah. Maybe not. Okay. Or maybe some users would think it's an incomplete site. Yep. Bounce away. So check out these guys. Pay your way. So through your multiplayer account or actually the merchants will offer this as an option um, similar to PayPal or the banks. Yep. Big names, big brands right there. Where you can see one of, one of our clients uh, suggested uh, we install a UPay 
widget and uh, a few months ago and i had no idea what it was <laughs> so i went sure <laughs> oh, man. but um very very good <laughs> idea but it was it was for low value items yeah. and i do question whether low value items are um mm. would convert more but yeah you know if you got it as an option why not pick the items you want so this is an interesting concept so you pick the items you want from your favorite store yeah. does but that does that mean you go to your favorite store, at any store? Because it, mm. that does, that's not what it means. That's what it feels I'm like. I'm thinking to me. it's probably. I mean, I didn't go too far into this site, but it, um, we, we're probably about to find out. Maybe again, that's where the um, where the uh, relationships come into it. That, that they're dealing with a whole heap of companies. Yeah. Let's just say, you know, your Myers, your Targets, your yeah, your, your jewelers, whatever. Yeah. Um, and you click on them. Obviously, you've got a choice to go to those. And if you don't see where you want to purchase from then maybe there's a way that they can access it i don't know yeah um that would to me would think would seem logical that would be a good way to partner up with some big big brands that's right i mean i i've, I've got to buy my wife my, my wife wants a new phone she's on a um an s7 yeah. s6 yeah. yeah okay and they're on s20s now but why are you laughing Beth? <laughs> <laughs> yeah it has got the same phone because uh, that's exactly <laughs> what charles had and i just upgraded him oh really <laughs> No, I, I've got to. I've got to buy a new phone. She goes. I want to. I want a phone with a camera. Yeah. It's like a decent camera. Yeah. And she goes. And I make, I, she said, I want a Pixel. And I, she never says anything tech. Yeah. My wife. She's a yeah. kindy teacher. She goes. I want a Google Pixel. <laughs> and I listened to a review just recently on Google Pixels, and they are just out of this world. Um, the Google okay. Six, the new Google Six. All right. But they're not. They're not cheap. They're not expensive, but they're not cheap. You know, you're looking at. Um, a grand, you're going to get one cent return for, on a grand. For a Google phone, wow. Things yeah. have changed since the last time I looked at a Google phone. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's why. That's why it's quite attractive to me. Yeah. All right. But I want to pay by you pay so I can send the bill to my kids. Yeah. <laughs> Smart. Good thinking. <laughs> Let them taste. Yeah. Let them taste. Okay, so uh, okay, so pick your favorite store. So you, maybe you're right. It'll be a favorite store from the selection who actually host it. So... Um, but again, don't know. No, but this is an interesting. What we, I would say, it's more of a landing page. This because um, it's taking you on a bit of a journey. Make mm. it your own style, your shape, your style. Um, so really, um, showing you that you can actually go through the whole checkout process and expect, um, you know, you pay to be at the end of it to ease the pain of paying. Yeah. Mm. Create and share your cart from your product page. Bread, okay, I don't know if you've noticed, just a little subtle thing as we scroll down the page. Before each one of those sections in the headline, it was shopper. Shopper, you do this. Shopper, you can do this. Shopper, now we've moved to payer. Yeah. Oh. Spread the love, yeah. not bad debts. Yeah. Um, so the idea is then, hey, um, such and such wants this for her birthday. Um, you guys want to get involved with the payment. And um, so, so it's the, targeted. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's targeted, targeted. And the walkthrough um, makes a lot of sense, uh, yeah. providing you're reading everything that's there. Yeah, that's right. Um, so there's a logical um, progression through this. And uh, yeah, I still I still stand by my original thought. This is cool. It's fresh. Very clean. It's very interesting. Very clean yeah. site. And I do like the journey mm. straight through the homepage. Absolutely. Um, rather than scrolling down, it's actually got a really nice clear call to action. It's got a nice animation here. Yeah. Um, it's not really telling you to click anywhere else um, because you've got arrows either side. So click here. Yeah. yeah. It's actually and screaming it's, at and you, the, really. And the text is chunked nice, small, and simple. Yeah. And, and it's informative. So, yeah, they've done a great job. Done a great job. What's that? Payer as well. Yep. Pay the way you always do. So, you're going to pay your, I'd say, you can use maybe some of your 250 bucks yeah on, um, and you can use your your favorite um you know payment method M -M. whether that's a paypal or or whatever so that's, right. that's cool no stress no debt so basically yeah instead of pumping it pumping your credit card your own credit card you're pumping someone else's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well i mean no, you've got to share I don't know about the no debt <laughs> yeah but uh well you you're sharing you're sharing you're sharing the love so yeah, the you've love. got to take some part in that but you yeah. can split it up and uh, you know instead of paying two or three hundred dollars for something you can split it evenly between a few other people absolutely that's great and then at the end of the journey it just takes you to the main website um, Culture Kings is a, a well-known brand, street brand. So this is what I was talking about. They're creating um, 
synergies with other businesses, pushing them, uh, and probably that's how they're working some kind of a special deal for yeah. the buyers, um, and everyone's benefiting. So th- this is, I think, this is probably where the real power of this um, this site and this brand is going. They recognise the need and how they can team up with other well-known brands to help each other. Interesting question. Do you think Culture Kings asked to be put on here or do you think you pay asked Culture Kings? Very good. I was only just thinking that myself. Um, they've got a really loyal fo- following um, and it may be that you pay say, hey, you know, we need some really cool street vibey type of gear yeah. on our books. We, yeah. need, uh, we also need to give our buyers – Options and really a, a, a variety of options. So, um, I, th- I dare say that you pay have, a, have approached Culture Kings. Yeah. To me, that's what it looks like. I, it if like, I was it's like, company, it's like us putting a portfolio item absolutely. onto our websites. Yep. It's like Bev, you know, is working through her travel and she knows that there's a certain cruise liner um, that 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 is exceptional. Yeah. She's going to approach them because you know purely for reputation, the quality of the product, and she wants that reflected in her business and the yep. way she does. Uh, business with other people, um, so there's a there's a whole um, there's a whole heap of uh, credential around this, which is really cool. Uh, the other side of it is that, that perhaps it opens Culture Kings to a market that they otherwise wouldn't get to. Absolutely, absolutely. Like and that. they will be paying for this in some way, shape, or form. But why would they care? They've got a they've been introduced to a whole heap of market and heaps more opportunity. Heaps more opportunity. Mm. Absolutely wicked. Mm. Can you see this working in the travel industry? Um. Well, yes and no. Um, it's, again, one of those things where you can do like a honeymoon or a special birthday type scenario where you have, um, you know, various people contributing to towards the cost of your holiday. So, yes, I see. I could see something like that working. Um, so, for instance, um, um, Bill and Mary are getting married and they want to go to such and such for their honeymoon and that would work. Through this scenario, I don't see why not. I mean, you've you, you've run something similar yep. like that in, yep, in the I past, do. anyway. So we, we've had a gift registry yeah, or gift a registry. registry. So, yeah. so could uh, travel and cruise fundamentals be the first implementer of UPay in WA <laughs> in the travel industry? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Watch this space. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, that's great, guys. Two really, really cool websites that are uh, cool, cool startups that are really mm-hmm. going to hopefully change the face of how we travel and how we do business. And um, we wish them the best of luck. Absolutely. Great job. Mm-hmm.